I'm Ron Smith, Extension Entomologist at Auburn University, and I'm here today with uh, Dr. Scott Graham, and we want to talk a little bit about stink bugs in cotton. And let me just say a few things up front. Stink bugs really became a pest in cotton once the weevil was eradicated, and we went to the genetically altered cotton, the BT cotton. So we really eliminated a lot of the need for hard chemistry, and the stink bugs have come in and filled that window. Now, uh, stink bugs, as far as scouting for them, we don't do it quite like we do some of the other insects, but if, if anybody remembers the old days of the boll weevil, we didn't look and count boll weevils. We looked and see the damage on the squares. Well, stink bugs are similar to that. We don't necessarily look for stink bugs because they're very uh, hard to find in the field. They're, they'll get away from you. But what we do is, uh, since we know they feed primarily on bowls or almost solely on bowls, then we uh, examine bowls. And uh, beginning about to the third week of bloom, we are in a critical window for stink bugs in the season, and that lasts really through about the sixth week of bloom. We have a really, really good threshold there. We want, after the third week of bloom, we don't want to see any more than 10% damage to the internal damage to the bowls for the next four or five weeks. So that's our, that's our sensitive window. And that's when, our, that's when most of our bowls are being set on the cotton plant. So that's when we get our greatest return from, uh, from state bug, uh, state bug injury. Now, as far as scouting, we want to select bowls from the plant and, uh, and uh, examine bowls uh, about 10 days old. That'd be about a quarter in diameter. And uh, we want to burst those bowls. That if you, when you're picking them and selecting them, you want to get a bowl that's a little spongy to the touch. And that way you can press it between your thumb and fingers and break, burst it open. Look internally for warts or any sign that the stink bug pierced the bowl wall, or maybe even a little bit of stained lint, which is going to result in either an entire bowl being damaged or damaged lops that will never go through the, uh, the picker at harvest time. So that's it. Uh, we, with stink bugs, we have to use uh, a very hard chemical, and that normally at that time of the year, that's either a pyrethroid at a high level rate or bidrin is our, basically our two choices, I think, in Alabama on stink bugs. Okay, here we are, uh, Prattville, Alabama, about the middle of July, and we're beginning to change our focus now to some stink bugs, and just want to talk about a little bit about how we're going to scout them. Uh, we pull some quarter diameter bowls that are still kind of soft and mushy to the touch. Those can be easily uh, easily crushed between the finger and the, and the thumb. And what we're going to do, we're going to look for internal injury. That's a real important thing. That's, it's okay to look for the external uh, dark circle in uh, circle in incisions that the stink bug has made. But the real important thing is what's happening inside the bowl when the stink bug is feeding. And some examples here in my hand is uh, we'll see the the lint will begin to stain and uh, and show an off color or a brown color if it has internal feeding damages, and I think that's just uh, bow rod organisms that's been introduced into the bowl. You see, what the stink bug's trying to do is get in there to feed on the seed and get some protein out of them. So we're looking internally in quarter diameter bowls that are crushed by the hand. We're looking for internal uh, discoloration on the lint. And the other thing that we want to look for is uh, Dr. Graham here is going to hand me some that we found. We'll have uh, warts on the inside of the bowl wall. I don't know if you can see them here, but all of these have, uh, the bowl trying to try, seems to try to heal itself, and there'll be warts on the inside of the bowl. And, uh, and uh, sometimes you won't see a wart, but you'll actually show where the, see where the mouth part of the stink bug went through the bowl wall. Any of those may cause uh, one or more lops to deteriorate, maybe a whole bowl. Uh, to uh, be deformed or hard locked at harvest time, and that's just something we don't pick. So that's the reason we like to keep our threshold during the peak of the fruiting season, the bowl set season, from weeks three through about six. We want to keep our damage from stink bugs to 10% or less.